Well, yes, Austria has had a, a long history of uh, populism, right-wing populism, especially since the rise of uh, Freedom Party with uh, Jörg Haider coming into party leadership in 1986. So Jörg Haider um, is, is dead uh, since a couple of years, but the uh, Freedom Party is still there. Uh, they just uh, had the second best result in, in their history in the uh, midst of October. Um, that they just announced today that they probably will be uh, appointed as new government now together with the conservatives uh, on the 20th of December. So yes, we're going to have uh, a populist government uh, in Austria, I would say. The problem we have in Austria, we don't just have um, the Freedom Party, but uh, we have seen uh, the conservatives, the, the Christian Democrats moving on a populist track uh, during the last uh, campaign. So we have basically two populist parties, uh, a right-wing populist and a populist populist party. Um, what is populism? That, that's nothing that is black and white, I know. And, and all of us as politicians, we have to address uh, emotions of people. If we don't do so at all, we will completely fail. But I would say populism could be defined as uh, is addressing especially negative emotions by manipulative uh, instruments of communication, uh, kind of. And we all have to communicate, so uh, are you prepared to manipulate? That's, that's one of the uh, distinctive uh, red lines. Uh, you have to decide, to, do you, are you prepared to cross or not? We as NEOs are not prepared to cross, so we, we are limited in growth at that stage, I, I have to tell you. So, um, and when it comes, what can we do as an opposition um, party against populism? Well, there is no, I uh, have five points. Uh, there is no patent uh, medicine against populism. If, if, if there would be one and I would know it, I would be Austrian chancellor. Obviously, I'm not, okay? Uh, so that's the bad news. Um, but but, uh, but uh, you will listen to, to, to Yair, and uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of Yair because uh, we met uh, about one year ago in Israel. You, you managed to, to build a new movement within five years, and, and you're leading the polls right now. Maybe you're the next prime, uh, pr prime minister in, in Israel. So um, you, you can show us a, 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 a picture of, of alternative, maybe. Um, what, what is our point is um, that I would say we, we are quite clear as NEOs that um, we have decided to counter populism in terms of uh, we counter emotions with emotions. Negative emotions work better than positive emotions, mostly, not always. There is, uh, we saw some um, big things like uh, Obama campaign, Obama won and so on, lots of positive emotions. Um, a great narrative and so on. But, but I think we as, as, as liberals uh, have to learn and always have to learn and to be eager, eager that uh, emotions are part of politics and political um, communication because liberals tend to be very much in the head and they cannot, uh, they are not able to drop their message into the belly or into the heart. So uh, the message has to be in the heart and in the belly as well. Uh, you have to, to communicate uh, into the guts of the people as well. And there we have to learn a lot, without using manipulative instruments. But uh, still, then emotions uh, are key. Counter emotions with emotions. Second point. Third point. I think authenticity is is absolutely key when countering um, when countering populists because they always are perceived as very authentic and. And so on. And if I look at our campaign, and, and while we were a very young movement, we were about five years old, and we managed to re enter now the parliament, five point something, 10 MPs, uh, we, we, uh, ho hopefully we can continue to grow. We grew, and, and we are the most uh, successful uh, startup uh, in Austrian post war history, but still, then we are a small party, I know. But uh, I would say if you look at the campaign, it was a solidly positive campaign and people accepted. And if I look at the two uh, most successful pieces of communication we had in this campaign, um, they had to do with uh, when it comes to Facebook postings. So I will come to another a strategic move we had. Um, they were the, the one was a, a visit to a kindergarten where I did a Facebook Live video. And, uh, and uh, I was just um, 
um, overrun by five kids and they would crash my video and, and this would uh, scale up to uh, half a million uh, views uh, within a couple of, of, of hours. And this, this was pure emotion and authenticity. Because I could spend uh, 100,000 euro on a, on a spot and whatsoever, you would not reach as many people with that impact. Um, and the second one was my, my wife. The, she was not uh, present in the campaign at all, but she made one exception and she did a video and, and we had a short sequence of dancing with each other. And so that was the second most uh, clicked uh, video. So that was uh, kind of, we, I, I don't do home stories and all that stuff, but uh, to show some glimpse of personality and a private personality, obviously people would like to see in terms of showing authenticity. Third point, authenticity is key. Fourth point, um, I think, um, well, we have to form, and, and this is a message to all uh, liberals, we have to form um, alternatives and alliances. Um, one alternative is sitting right here, Imgrad Gris. Uh, maybe, uh, Imgrad, you can stand up uh, to, to present yourself because you're the first time here. And uh, she was running for president in Austria, and uh, you are not a politician up to that time, and you got some... 19% from the Austrian vote. So that was... Uh, <laughs> and then we had, um, we had long discussions. Uh, uh, Sebastian Kurz, our next chancellor, who won the elections now as a populist conservative. And, and, and uh, you and I, uh, is there an option to form a platform? What is to say we would have been prepared to form a platform in terms of uh, the Macron approach, but uh, Kurz was not prepared to uh, to leave his <coughs> conservative party, um, and and we were not uh, prepared to to <laughs> to distinguish our party and and to follow him. And then he moved to a very populist path, uh, and you Imgrad, then decided to join uh, an alliance with Neos. And I think it's very important to to build alliances. So we always did; otherwise, we would have not come into existence in Parliament. When we ran the first time in 2013, we had the alliance with the Young Liberals and with the Liberales Forum. And we now had this, um, this alliance with Imgrad Greece. And a lot of people from outside our party. So form alliances, that's, that's very important, I think. And, and we keep on doing this. So um, we just formed the Alliance for Freedom and Responsibility with Imgrad Greece. And we formed an alliance now. Uh, a new platform with uh, Novocesna and, and the progressive uh, Slovakia and uh, Momentum Hungary uh, where we say, okay, we have to counter this kind of stupid populism that we see in our region from the Visegrad uh, countries. So we have to team up together, fourth point. Fifth point, and uh, finally closing on this, um, this is quite, uh, I would say that's, that's not the, the conventional wisdom in, in politics, but th that comes, is derived from my former um, profession <laughs> as, as, a, as an organization builder and, and change maker. Um, I think we have to be better in terms of social design when it comes to building parties and movements than, uh, than populistic movements. Because populistic movements, they uh, mostly are very volatile. They, they are very based on a mostly an egocentric leading figure. Uh, so they can speed up uh, quickly, but they will also decline quickly. Uh, so we have to be more sustainable. We have to be more uh, um, we have to be more professional when it comes to social design and I have uh, co-founded lots of associations and companies and so on and it is always my ambition to come to at least at that point that I could leave this organization and being sure that this organization will go on and many of these organizations I co-founded even went on better when I left. So <laughs> I think that's not the same uh, Gerd Wilders could say or, or a populist could say, and, but I think that's very important, sustainability, social design, and a long-term perspective. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cheers, thank you very much.